Hi everyone, it's Angie the Craft NATO. How is everyone doing? I'm doing super. I am going to show you today an order that I just received from my friends over at DP Clubs. Don't forget that I do have a discount at D DP Clubs. It's Angie 15. You can get 15% off your order. I know they do run specials on their site. Um, also from time to time where you can get 15% off too. So I don't get a kickback or anything from that. It's just something that they gave to me to offer to you guys to save you a little bit of money. So um, if you are interested in anything from their store, they have great prices, great shipping, great products. I really like them. Um, and so feel free to use, um, use that code if you decide to order anything. So let's get right into our first item. And why do I not have... The drills must have stayed in the bag. This is the one that I opened up, yes, to see who this order was from, and I left the drills in the bag. Okay, so I am getting ready for February. February is going to be smashing the specials with um, Brandy from Mystery of Diamonds and Mindy from Mindy's Diamond Moment. And I am super excited to participate in that event. I have a lot of special drill canvases that I'm really excited to work on, and um, I decided I could use a few more, though, because you can never have too many. So this first one is a bubble round, but not totally a bubble round because we do have some other shapes. So with a bubble round, usually your canvas is going to be entirely glued um, because you're putting your... it's. It's a partial drill technically, but it's a full drill. So it's very, very sticky. Um, it's got a nice thick cover on it too. There are 17 different drill types and it's this, you really have to look at the uh, link in the description tab of this to see how great it's really gonna look. This one, um, you know, it doesn't have drills on it right now, so it doesn't do it quite do it justice. This is actually very, very beautiful when it's drilled, and they do have a picture of it as, have, like, actually as it looks drilled. I'll try to show you the rendering or the schematic there, but I can't quite get it close enough to really, really show you. But it really, really is beautiful looking um, when it's finished. And so let's take a look at the drills. All of these kits are going to come with a basic tool kit, which is a pen, a boat, and a plate of wax. Um, you know that. And let's see what our drills look like. I'm kind of anxious to see what some of the special drills are going to look like. And I'm anxious to see what our background color is going to be because it looks like it might be a multicolored background. Do you see how um, we've got some different colors showing on the canvas? That doesn't, that could just be the code for that drill color. That could be, you know, a totally one colored background. But let's check it out. Let's see what we've got. All right, so we'll start with our regular size crystals. We've got some black resin and that's going to go to outline the bird. Um, and yes, that's just going to be the total outline of the bird. So I like that because it'll delineate the bird from the background better. So that's good. Then we've got this gorgeous lime green. Love that. Some lavender, some yellow, Orange, love this orange. You know orange is my favorite color. Then we have my new favorites, which are those iridescent clear crystals. They really add a special sparkle, um, more so than regular round clear crystals. A nice Kelly green, a light baby blue, and another limish green. So our foliage is going to be, our foliage is going to be these two limish greens, which I like that. I like that a lot. I like it when you have dimension in your in your uh, background color. 
So it looks like, let's see, num this is number six. Number six, or let's see. I'm trying to see what, okay, four, five, and six are 15, 16, and 17. So the background is four, five, and six, which is 15, 16, and 17. So our background is going to be all one color, and it's going to be clear. So we've got two big bags of clear rhinestones in the normal size, one big bag in the medium size, and then one bag in the large size. So that'll be, that's going to make up your background. It's going to be all clear crystals. That's going to be beautiful. Then for some of the petals on the flowers or the berries, not petals on, so to fill in the kind of the berries here, we have these orange iridescent coated round topped teardrops. That was a mouthful. Some lavender marquee, some gold slivers some pink iridescent coated medium sized uh, rhinestones and some small clear iridescent colored marquee. And those are the 17 drill types with that. And that one is going to be so pretty. Um, I'm thinking that this is Holly because just judging by the leaves, somebody will correct me. Judging by the leaves and the berries, I'm guessing that this is holly and there's looks like snow. Oh, I betcha six. Let me look at this again. Yes. So the background is clear crystals. Then the snow on these branches is actually the iridescent coated clear crystals. So that's going to, and there's like a black line that kind of board, creates a little bit of a border between the snow covered branch and the background. So you should be able to tell the difference. Nice. That'll look really cool. That will be cute. So not quite a Christmas image, but definitely a wintry image. Which around here, it's still winter, uh, at least for a few more months here in Michigan. All right, that's the first one. This order may be all special drills. I'm not sure. I can't, I, I'm not, I shouldn't speak too soon, but it might be all special drills. So here's the second one, and it is also a special drill. It is a 30 by 30, and it's another bird. And standard tool kit. And I just love the colors in this. These greens and blues are so pretty with that colorful bird. Isn't that just pretty? There's not a ton of drilling on this. Um, there are 12 drill types, but there's not a ton of drilling, but I really do like the background, how it's, I've been into this lately with diamond paintings, whether it be a full drill or a partial drill, how they have that kind of faded background. I think that looks really pretty. Um, and I just, I love these colors together. The blues and the greens are so pretty. So let's take a look at our drills. Let's see if I can get that to lay down flat for us. Yeah, that's about as flat as it's gonna get. So we've got, like I said, 12 different drill types. And these drills are pre-bagged, which makes it great. I love having partials with pre-bagged drills. Because I don't kit up partials, I just work right from the, you know, right from the bag. So this makes it nice. Oh, look at that color. Love it. Love it. It's like a, it's not quite a lime green. It's, it's, it's very pretty. It's a little bit yellowy lime green. That's super pretty. I love that color. Then, of course, we have some clear crystals. And then, oh my gosh, love these ice blues. So imagine how pretty these are gonna look together. Love those two colors together. That's gonna look amazing. Yeah, love those two colors. All right, then we've got some regular Kelly green, some gold and some orange. 
quite a bit of purple. I wonder where that purp all that purple is going to go. That's number five. Number five. So looks, I'm seeing some in the little bit in the bird and a little bit around the rings on the inside of these flowers. So just a little bit everywhere. Then we have some foil topped gold marquee. Very pretty iridescent ice blue large faceted teardrops. Some clear faceted iridescent coated teardrops. Some teeny blue marquee and these are a gorgeous color blue too. I really like that kind of a uh, really nice royal blue. And then some of that same minty green iridescent coated marquee faceted larger. That was, I just love all these colors together. They're very um, jewel toned, I guess. And then you've just got that bold bird, you know, peeking out of there. Very pretty. This one will definitely, definitely be getting done in February. So you can look forward to seeing that on my Thursday whipping Chats. If you don't watch those, you might want to, um, if you're interested in seeing anything that I finish, I always show my finishes at the beginning of my whipping Chats on Thursdays. So even if you, you know, don't want to listen to me ramble on about life in general, uh, pop in for the beginning and see, you know, everything that I've completed for the previous week. So that's a good place to keep track of um, what I'm actually getting done. And I do get done quite a bit. Okay, so moving right along. No, we have a full drill. So this is not going to be a completely partial drill unboxing. This is a full drill. Um, and it is a 40 by 30 actually because it's landscape. Um, the canvas is a very happy medium of flexible and stiff. It's going to flatten out quite nicely. It is nice and sticky and it says welcome friends. And I am optimistic that the words are going to turn out. I'm pretty optimistic about it, looking at them and the way they're charted. Um, yeah. Now, you do have this white background is all going to be... Um, is all going to be multi-placing or color blocking, uh, but the rest of it is going to be confetti, you know, color, a mix of colors. So there are 23 colors total. We have all letters for our key, um, and the drill field is nice and clear. I got this because of the ladybugs. My daughter, Emily, when she was a small child, her nickname growing up was Bug, and I thought that this would be nice for her. So I'm going to do this one for her for her by her front door, and I think she'll really like it. So let's take a look at the colors. 23 colors is kind of a lot for something that looks so simple. So there's that wood grain because it's like a, on a piece of driftwood. You've got the couple flowers and the couple ladybugs on the piece of driftwood. So we must have quite a bit of combination of browns to make up that driftwood, which is good. Um, going to give us some good definition, hopefully. So we've got two big bags of white, a light mauve, and a caramel. Big bag of caramel. We have Elizabeth pink, black, red, peachish pink. A light rose pink, dark brown, a brownish yellow, a very, very pale pink, red, light yellow, orange, orange, I wonder where that goes, must blend in with the um, ladybugs and flowers, uh, chocolate brown, a brownish yellow, and a couple more dark browns, pale pink, dark yellow, 
mauve, very pale pink again, and another brown. So those are all going to blend together to make that wood quite nice, I think. Um, I think that'll look really good. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Another hit. Pretty good order so far. Let's see what else we can get into. All right, so let me put that, these drills away real quick. And we'll get on to the next one. I'm going to have, I placed an order with DP Clubs. I'm not sure when I'm going to get to the unbagging for it. Um, but it's going to be another one of those, my like I used to do, uh, marathon unbaggings. It has quite a few items in it. So get ready for that because it's going to be a while. Okay, so our next one is another partial special drill, 30 by 30. And it's another one that has the cute faded background. I'm really, really into that lately. Sunflowers in a can, very pretty. There's only eight different drill types, so not, there's a lot of, there's a lot to drill on here, um, but only eight different, you know, colors. I think it's all, I think it's all crystals. I don't think there's any special, oh no, we do have some special shapes there. We do have some special shapes. So let's see what we've got. Let me see if I, let me roll this the other way. Nice pliable um, canvas. Let me just roll this real quick this way so we can see it while we look at the drills. Standard toolkit, of course. And let's get into these drills. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. So we've got some clear crystals, some nice Kelly green. And another looks like the same color, but it can't be. So check out those two greens together. They look very, very close, don't they? I guess this one has a little bit more of a, a turquoise look to it, but they're very close. But I'm glad that they did that. It's nice when they do that instead of making it all one color. Beautiful sunshine yellow. And then we have a big bag of yellow ABs. And then we have some blue ABs. So those are probably going to be like for the centers of our flowers, I'm thinking. What are these going to be? Six. Let's see where six goes. Dun, dun, dun. What's that? Green has. Oh, it's going to be the outline of the butterfly and the outline of the bucket are going to be these blue ABs. They're like a real dark blue. Then we have these three huge gold buttons that are going to go in the centers of our sunflowers. Very cool. And then we have all of these large pink iridescent coated marquee. And these are going to go in the seed area of the, of the, um, of the sunflowers. Sorry, geez, I couldn't get that word out sitting here staring at them and I couldn't think of it. I guess I was thinking pink was maybe a, a an odd choice, but it's more of a whatever a reddish pink. And I think it's gonna be okay. I think I think it'll work. And they are kind of the shape of sunflower seeds. So it'll probably look cool once it's done. Um I just you know sometimes you just gotta trust the process. So I'm gonna trust the process on that and I'm sure it'll be just beautiful when it's finished. Artistic interpretation, right? Right. Okay, now we've got one last canvas and this is something that Emily must have just thrown in because this was the first thing I opened to try to find out who this order came from and I didn't recognize it. It wasn't any, so this is something that I never would have picked out on my own, but I am so glad that she sent it. It is cuter than cute. It is stinking adorable. It is 
a 30 by 30 bubble round llama. Isn't he just adorable? And he's got some, with some cactuses and some flowers on the ground in the grass with some mountains in the background and a cloudy sky. And this is a true bubble. Well, I guess we do have a couple of marquees, but this is a, oh, and some teardrops, I see. So we are going to have some other shapes, but can, can you, well, you can see it, so you can guess. Guess how many drill types there are in this? 22. 22 different types of drills in here. That's crazy. That's so many for a 30 by 30 special drill. That's just a lot, a lot, a lot. So let's look at them. Um, first, I'll test the sticky of the canvas. It's very sticky. It's a nice pliable canvas. It's going to um, gonna flatten out nicely. You will see me do this one. Uh, during February for Smash and the Specials. It is too cute not to do. Like I said, I never would have chosen this, but I love it. I absolutely love it. So I think I might start doing that a little bit with companies is maybe giving them a little bit of, instead of me always choosing something, I think I might start having them surprise me sometimes because, yeah, yeah. I, you never know what you're going to like, right, until you see it. Because I would have never picked this, but I absolutely love it. So, 22 drill types. So, we got to imagine that a lot of them are going to be made up of the same color in different sizes. Because that's what a bubble round is. So, beautiful background color to start with. Gorgeous ice blue. So, we've got two bags of the regular size a bag of medium, and a bag of large. Then we have white resin drills. These are probably gonna be our clouds. Yes, these are our clouds. So we've got white, resin, regular size, medium size, and large size. Then we have this pale blue. That's gorgeous. That is going to be the mountains, are gonna be this pale blue, so much different from the sky in regular, medium, and large. Then we have lime green, uh, a kind of a mix between a lime and a Kelly green, and then a Kelly green in regular, medium, and large. That'll be our grass. Then we have some goldish copper. They're kind of a more of a brown, really. Then some yellow, some black resin drills, then quite a few of these beautiful gold uh, marquee. So there must be more in there than I'm than I'm seeing off this the top of my head because there's quite a few in this bag. Ooh, some beautiful teardrop shaped, clear iridescent. Um, yeah, clear iridescent teardrop. Some medium pink, medium yellow, and large faceted iridescent coated reddish pink. Kind of a magenta. Very, very cute. Love this so much. So that's all I have today from DP Clubs. I want to say thank you to Emily and everyone at DP Clubs for another great unbagging. And thank you to you guys for watching. As always, I'll have the links in the description tab. I'll try to find the link to this, um, but because I it wasn't in my order, uh, I might, I, I, I'm sure I can find it. I'll find the link to it. But it's very cute. I would highly recommend it. It's it's a cutie. It's going to be a fun one to do, too. Don't know what I'm going to do with it, but it's super cute. Sometimes it's all about the process and not so much about what you're going to do with it when it's done. It's all about having fun and enjoying yourself. And, you know, as long as you're having fun and enjoying yourself, then you're getting what you need to get out of the craft. So, all right. How do you like my little speech there? Little impromptu diamond painting speech. So thank you again to you and to DP Clubs. 
Links will be in the description. Leave a question um, in the comments, or if you just have a random comment, that's great too. I will see you all in my next video, and I hope you all have a great day. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.